a day in the life of a Texas high school football coach on a Tuesday as we get ready for our round three playoff game. We're making the trip out to Birdville this Friday to play an undefeated Richland Royals team. Per usual, I get up about 5.30 or so and make my way on down to the school. They had all the lights on at the stadium this morning so the construction workers could see what they were doing. We're getting a new field house and locker room complex built out of one of our end zones. I swipe my key card to head on inside the building and get my pre-workout fixed for the morning. There ain't nothing like 300 milligrams of caffeine to knock the sleep out of your eyes. It's Tuesday, so it's my first pull day workout of the week. In between my lifts, I'm getting some sets of jump ropes in. I'm hoping I can keep my heart rate up doing this. I did some different variations on the pull down machine. I also knocked out some rows on the landmines. Also got inside the rack and did some inverted rows. When I got done working out, I made my way back up to the coach's locker room. We're gonna have the players arrive at 8.15 this morning for the special teams meetings. We've got a portable sauna set up in the coach's locker room so I go sweat my demons out for about 20 minutes. After I got a good sweat in, you know I gotta replenish those electrolytes. That's when I turn to Shield from Sword Performance. Shield is my favorite way to rapidly replenish the electrolytes lost during sweat. The best part is it's not overloaded with sugar so there's not gonna be a crash later. I went with the berry flavor this morning and it was tasty. As I was sipping on my electrolytes, I went over to the printer and printed off the defensive practice schedules for this morning. The special teams meeting is going to start about 8.30 and then we'll have position meetings at about 8.50. After the position meetings, we'll head out to the field for our practice. I've got a little bit of downtime before the meeting starts, so I'll watch some tape of our opponent. There's going to be 20 mile an hour winds outside today, so I might need a little stocking cap. Halfway through the practice, we're going to move from outside to the indoor. I go ahead and set up the end zone camera so our student filmers can have it when it's time. It's about 8.15 at this point, so I'm going to head on up and get the film room ready. The linebackers like to meet in the ROTC room. After about 40 minutes of position meetings, we head out to the stadium for practice. It's a Tuesday tradition in Forney that we do our tackle circuit so we get the red mats out. We're also going to work on shock and shed so some of the JV guys grab the one-man sled. Halfway through our practice, we transition to the indoor. We finish up our two-hour practice in the indoor. When the practice is over, all the players bring it up on our head coach, Coach Fleener. Once the players are dismissed from the head coach, they meet with their position coaches. Players help get all the equipment put up and then they go shower up and turn in their laundry. Some of the coaches monitor the locker rooms, other coaches have to go do their other duties. Me and Coach Pippen get all the film uploaded to Huddle. Once all the film gets uploaded, we intercut it and share it out to the team. I was starving by this point, so I went rooting around in the refrigerators in the team room. I found an old Chick-fil-A biscuit, so I microwaved the filet on it. Desperate times call for desperate measures. I watch a little bit of tape, and then I head to the coach's locker room to take a much-needed shower. I decided to take a hot shower to warm up the bones a little bit. I got dressed into some comfy clothes to head on home in. I stopped back by my desk in the football coach's office and grabbed my car keys. I made my way on out to the car to enjoy the rest of my afternoon. If you're near the Fort Worth area this Friday night, we'd love to have you at our round three playoff game. As always, subscribe on YouTube to keep up.